this is Xavier from XD Tutorials and today we're going to go over some little tricks that will help you speed up uh, whatever you're doing in GIMP here. So these are some things that I've mentioned in other videos just in passing but figured I would separate out a video and just show all these things um, all in one spot. Again, this is these are things that I use in every single project that I ever do in GIMP. So. The first thing is zooming in. Now this works only if you have a wheel on your mouse. What you can do is hold down your control key and use your wheel to zoom in and out on an image. You can also use your plus and minus keys on your keyboard if you don't happen to have a wheel on your mouse, but I just found um, that wheel is uh, invaluable um, for, for zooming. So I'm just holding down my control key and using my window or my wheel to go in and out. Um, if you don't hold down your control key and use your scroll on your mouse you just scroll up and down so um, when you're zoomed in here something that's really nice to have open in one of your task panes is the navigation dialog and what that's going to do is it's going to show your entire image and then this little white box is where you're zoomed in on so if I you'll see that white box moves as I zoom in and out to show what exactly I'm looking for so if you're working on a zoomed in you you know that you know a lot of times you have to use the scroll keys to go up and down to get to a different part it's kind of annoying to zoom out and then find where you want to be and all that good stuff so here's a little trick to move around the screen what you can do is hold down your spacebar and then click with your mouse and move your mouse to the left or right or up and down or whatever and you're gonna move your image so if I want to get to the left side of the image really quickly I'm just holding down my spacebar and moving my mouse here you don't even need to click or anything you just hold down your spacebar now another thing you'll find if you zoom out now I'm at the top of the image well if I want to see the image centered in my window what I can do is zoom totally out and then totally back in and now my image is recentered in the middle of my screen which is really nice so again if I'm using my spacebar to move it all the way up if I want it in the center I can just zoom out zoom back in a couple times and it'll get back to the center so you can do that really quick to get your image back to the center which is really nice Another thing that I use all the time is dragging and dropping. Now, I'm not exactly sure if dragging and dropping is going to help or work for me on here. Um, that's because the memory of recording my screen sometimes goofs up GIMP's process here. But we'll try it out and see. I just have some example text that I made here. Um, and what you can do is let's say that you have a color. Oh, let's just pick a color here here let's say we already have a color here we want to change this example text to that color what you can do is click on your layer and then drag the color to this color field and normally it will it looks like it's not going to be happening on my screen right now but normally what you'll see is like a little dashed line around this color thing and if you let go your text will change to that color so again mine isn't doing it because I'm running into memory issues but um, that definitely works you can also use drag and drop between screens so let's say if I have a layer here that I want to move into another image so let's just do a new image of you know 255 by 255 again I don't think this is gonna work but what I can do is say grab this layer move it to this screen here drop it and then it would appear in this here again again it's not working because of my memory issues on my computer but uh, normally normally that works just fine you can also take an image let's say I have this bot pick here from my desktop that I just grabbed from my desktop and you can drop it into the image and now you'll see that I have a bot pick layer so again that's just as simple as taking you know a picture that's on your desktop grabbing it dropping it in and adding that to your image just like that so again another just quick way to add a layer if you have a picture already saved to your desktop okay the last thing i want to show you is how to change your your brush size a lot of times we have a brush let's say let's just grab a random a brush um you know let's change the color here see how small that brush size is you can always go here and increase the brush size into your tool options tab and stuff like that sometimes that's um you know it's another movement of your mouse so it kind of gets annoying what you can use is your open and close brackets on your keyboard 
Um, so the open bracket, and again this window has to be active for this to work, but if you use the um, open bracket it makes that smaller. If you use the close bracket it makes that paintbrush bigger. So that works with your eraser tool, airbrush, any of your like paint-like objects. So again that's bigger. And then again, I'm just holding down the open bracket on my keyboard, and it makes it smaller. So it's it's great for those real quick adjustments where you just need it just a tad smaller or just a tad bigger. You can see my brush size is moving right down there. Um, it's just really helpful for those type of things. So those are just a few little tricks for you. I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you like this, feel free to subscribe or hit that little thumbs up button. And also, if there's any tricks out there that I didn't cover in this video that you think are just, oh, everybody needs to hear about this, leave a comment. Let other people know about it, and um, we kind of help each other here. So you have a great day here. I hope you enjoyed it.